Three, two, one. Hey there, and welcome to a Dave Does video. And I'm back on the channel. It's been a while since we did a video. I think the last one was probably either a Hannah B video or something around that era. Uh, may have even been a bad made video for all I can remember right now. But today I am back doing some VOB, some base, uh, voice of best products. Uh, and what's the holy noble today? Uh, so this was a video we were going to schedule to do on the uh, ADK Rock and Metal channel. Uh, unfortunately, we've not had the time to get over to it uh, in recent weeks. Just with so much going on with all the sub news of Sepultura. Uh, and wanting to cover some of that, covering some of the warning and uh, just a whole load of other content going on there. So it's come over to the Dave Does channel for me to check out uh, without the other guys. Uh, I've been really, I really enjoy what these uh, young ladies stand for, what they're going after, what message they're trying to do. Uh, not always vibed with their songs, uh, elements of, or elements of their songs. So it's not, I've not always been on like a hundred percent on board. Uh, but I really do like what it is they're trying to achieve in their music. So uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, 
Wow. Okay, so there we go. VOB and what's the holy noble today? Uh, I mean, there's lots to talk about in this particular one. So we've got the uh, the message that's going in there. We've got the music, and I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust the musical elements first, and then we we'll want to talk about the topic of the actual video. Uh, some musical great funk to it, got some great groove in there. I mean, we're talking, if you're going back in metal terms, you're talking like suicidal tendencies kind of vibe. Uh, so you've got elements of hardcore in there. You've got uh, the attitude of some of the punk elements as well in there. Uh, and you've got funk in there. It sounds great. Love the musicality of the band. Uh, now, in a previous video, I wasn't a great fan of her vocal performance. I thought this one was really good. Um... Topically, it's a bit on the nose, but it's uh, sometimes you have to be that way, I guess. Um, but yeah, I liked what she did vocally. I liked uh, bringing in the cultural stylizations in her voice. I thought that was good. Um, yeah, it was just a really good track. It got me moving. It got me kind of getting into it. I'm not a fan of uh, lyric videos, but I thought this one was, a, was well put together. It's one of the better lyric videos I've seen uh because of the use of the footage um and it helps with it i mean to get their point across so i think probably that it actually works better than if it had been a performance one um but i it, there are sometimes you see a lyric video that has no correlating footage and it's just uh, a visualizer or something i mean visualizers are the worst i hate visualizer videos uh i'd actually prefer just an album cover than a, a visualizer but at least the lyric video is is better than that um but I think it's really interesting that obviously the, these ladies are not afraid about tackling topical subjects and going against po uh, political religions, etc. And really facing into these challenges that they face uh, and talking about war. So stop war. We hate war. Uh, and I sat there. My first thought in my head when I heard that was, well, no one likes war. And then I went, well, actually, obviously, there are people that do like war because they see a benefit in doing war. Because if no one likes war, there wouldn't be wars. Now, I can hear people already screaming at me, going, no, 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 even if you don't like war, you sometimes have to have a war because you have to stand up against oppression, you have to fight the tyr tyrannical dictatorships, yeah, yeah. I completely understand that. Now, the problem we have there is if it was just a dictator and it was one person that wanted the war, all you'd have to do is everyone else in that country just go, we don't want to go to war. And it's one person you're up against. The problem is, is people are bought into the ideal and the political belief that it is the right thing to do because they believe in whatever the genocidal attack. They believe in their superiority. They believe that the other country is doing something wrong. And it's weird because we would say here in the United Kingdom, the news that we get of what's happening in other countries in the world is factually correct. But we really don't know that because then we see in other countries, people say, we know you're biased, you're, you're not getting the truth. And we're looking at it going, well, we've got footage from, we've got news footage from multiple countries, including one country that's involved in the conflict or another country that's involved in the conflict. And out of nine out of the 10 countries are saying one thing and it's only one country. And let's say it's the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Russia saying one thing, Ukraine and every other country are saying the other. So we would go that nine, the 90% the of the people are accurate and that's the, what we all believe. But we're not in the environment, so we generally wouldn't know it. But I think this whole idea, I, I hate wars. I would much rather there was no armies. People just got on because all that money we spend on warfare could all be put for the betterment of mankind to help feed people cheaper housing for people we are it would make everyone's lives better all those people tied up in armed forces but unfortunately there is always going to be people out there who want to one-upmanship and want to take control because unfortunately we have a hierarchy in every country where we have people at the top who want to stay in power they want to make the money they want to have all the benefits and control and they want to put their ideological beliefs ahead of the goods of the people. And in their heads, probably in their in their actual beliefs, their ideological beliefs are for the good of the people. And whether that means a North Korea, South Korea divide, whether that's, um, as we see with Ukraine and Russia, where we see that in the Middle Eastern states, whether you have these constant conflicts where, for, as an outsider, we'd look at it and go, well, we don't understand why why are you fighting why can't the israelis and the palestinians get on yes there's been a lot of bloodshed 
historically but it, if you just keep killing each other it's not going to change no one side is going to give down the only way to work is live together and get on with your lives it's it's really try to simplify it there and i know if i try and say it's as simple as that which i'm, I'm, I'm i don't believe it's as simple as that but if i had said that people would be like you don't understand the conflicts you don't understand the history it doesn't change even if i understand the history it doesn't change the fact that you are still killing people and people are still and they they're too afraid to, as, as soldiers they're afraid to turn around and go i don't want to go and kill my neighbor next door because of his beliefs because i'll be killed so i have to do it and there are soldiers that have been forced to do it and then unfortunately there are soldiers out there who willingly believe that what they are doing is right and that is the big challenge of war so it's a great statement to say stop war we hate war unfortunately only some people hate war there are others out there that do enjoy it and they like it or they believe that it is the right thing to do. Whether they love it or not, they believe it is the right thing and that's why they do it. Uh, but we need more people to keep fighting against it and hope that over time things will change. Um, but at this point in time, there are more conflicts going on around the world than ever before, in my opinion. I, I just generally, every time you put on the noise, there's some sort of conflict going on. Uh, we've got more crimes, we've got economical disaster, we've got environmental change, which is a challenge. We've got this last four years, I would say, since around about 20... 2019. And then I think the, the coronavirus has really escalated a lot of problems. The divide between Western states and the Chinese state... We rely for so much import from China, but there's no trust between them. It's it's an absolute insane position to be in a worldwide economy and a worldwide human race where we're separated by our our religions, our genres. So whether you are from an Asian persuasion, uh, whether you are European, whether you American, African, whatever continent you're from, whatever nationality you are, and we seem to not be able to realise that we're just human beings living on our planet and that we actually need to get on with each other to make it work and work together for a bigger solution. I don't know. There we go. That was a very topical debate and belief system. We're getting a real understanding of what I believe in here. Uh, but yeah, war is not good, and it was, it's great to see the ladies pushing that. Uh, it's always interesting to see what their next uh, story is going to be about. But uh, always a band to keep an eye on, VOB, Great song, thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Great to talk about the topic, uh, and I hope you enjoyed talking about it with me today on the channel. Now, if you enjoyed my video today, please do like, share, and subscribe. Please do check out my other channels, ADK Rock and Metal channel, and of course, my band Tell Us Scribe, uh, with the new album coming out on January, the no, first singles coming out on January the 10th, uh, and the album coming out on March the 9th. Fingers crossed if it's mixed in time. Uh, otherwise, it might be a little bit later. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the video sometime very soon. Take care.